Today you are going to be really happy because I have a gift for you. You have been supporting the channel and giving your comments and feedback about the videos. So I have prepared 12 templates for the artists that want to mimic real papers and especially watercolor paper and I will explain in a minute. All right, you have the link in the description of this page and you need to download all these four files and uh, let's go with the next step. To download these files, please right click and save us and then you can decide the path where you are going to save everything. Next step is to move this folder where all the templates are ready to be used to your user folder. Uh, remember you have all the info in the templates video already. So let's go here, move it, then move the papers bundle to the Krita resource folder, done. Start Krita and it's loading everything. Ba, 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 bam, ba, bam. And you can see how if I go to the new image, you see that you have everything available right now from scratch. First template is the cover and index. If I load it, you will see that I have like an index or what can I expect from these templates, this type of surface. And I hope you like it. If I go to the new image, you see that we have like two categories. It's like dry papers and wet papers for watercolor. So let me explain you just very fast. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments what do you think about this uh, new series of papers. You can find compositions if you go to the settings, dockers, and then look for compositions docker. Composition store the visibility of the layers, not the state or parameters of, of the layers. Okay, what we can do with these templates? I'm going to load this, the first one, double click. And as you can see, we have this texture. The surface is loaded right here. So if I press this button, the options, buttons, the properties, I click and you can see the transform allow us to change the scale. Right now I'm going to leave you a 50%, it's okay. You can see how I can also rotate the texture. You can see there is a panel right here that is called compositions. So right now it's in default, but I can tone the paper. Let's go to the paper section and adjust this with this button, the properties, and select the hue that you prefer, the blue, pink, red, whatever. This gives you a lot of power, so have fun. I'm gonna cancel, and then we have the black. And the black is inverting the texture of the paper, you will see that just like this, but it doesn't really matter too much. And this will be how the dry papers behave really fast. You have more info about all these things in the templates video. Do you like it? Let's go for the watercolor. Go to new and select a watercolor template. Double click. I wait to be generate. And then I go to image, rotate and 90 degrees and it's gener auto generating the surface, no problem with that. So now I select this file and apply as a new layer. And you can see how this is pure digital simulating watercolor, but without any surface. And when we apply, when we apply the paper, you will see that the result is a lot better. So if you think that we are uh, losing some intensity on the colors, you can go to the paper and adjust the whiteness. Give it a boost of light to your painting. And that way you can have a really cool paintings. Also, you can still play with the paper effects. So you can add more grain to the surface. You can add more interaction with the paper. And right now, 
the feeling is maybe too rough, rough paper, but you decide what you leave as a result. You can also go here and reduce the opacity of the paper. We can even remove the paper and you can see this is pure white and we still keep the texture inside the image. Let me use a darker color and you will see the paper. And we activate the paper and we have the paper. Take a look at this section of the painting. You see all these dark little points and these are controlled with the grain overlay and also is controlled by the paper effects. If I increase this to the maximum power, you see how the paper is making this rougher. I could remove the intensity of these little points. Paper effects is too much, so I reduce a bit. Also the grain overlay, which is basically the same, but with the, with the, with the colors, you can change the interaction of the paper. Uh, it's amazing how all the features that Krita provides can create these effects. And now I listen to you. What do you think of all these papers? It has taken a lot of time to produce this, but I have enjoyed a lot producing them. This will be a good starting point for more templates in future. Maybe Canvas? I hope you like it and you enjoy. And if you look for the license, you can use this for whatever you want. You can use it commercially share it with your friends and you can modify the textures the templates to whatever whatever you want if you haven't subscribed yet just do it because i'm preparing a lot of things see you next time bye